In today's video, we're exploring a fascinating topic. How do satellites orbit Earth? By the end of this video, you'll understand the science behind satellite orbits and why they are so crucial for our modern world. Before we dive into orbits, let's define what a satellite is. A satellite is any object that moves around a larger object in space. Earth has natural satellites like the moon. But we also have thousands of man-made satellites for communication, weather monitoring, and more. The key player in keeping satellites in orbit is gravity. Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every mass attracts every other mass. The force between the Earth and a satellite keeps the satellite in orbit. To understand orbits, imagine Newton's cannonball. If you fire a cannonball horizontally from a mountain, it will eventually fall due to gravity. But if you fire it with enough speed, it will fall towards the Earth but keep missing it, essentially orbiting the planet. For a satellite to stay in orbit, it must achieve the right balance of speed and altitude. Too slow, and it will fall back to Earth. Too fast, and it will escape Earth's gravitational pull. The ideal speed depends on the altitude of the orbit. There are different types of orbits, including low Earth orbit, LEO, medium Earth orbit, MEO, and geostationary orbit, GEO. Each type serves different purposes, from imaging and spying to global communication. LEO is where most satellites reside, typically between 160 to 2,000 kilometers above Earth. These satellites are used for imaging, scientific experiments, and the International Space Station. MEO satellites orbit between 2,000 and 35,786 kilometers. The most well-known MEO satellites are those in the GPS constellation, providing global navigation services. GEO satellites orbit at about 35,786 kilometers above the equator. They move at the same rate as Earth's rotation, staying above the same spot on the Earth's surface. These are ideal for communication and weather satellites. Orbital mechanics is the study of the motions of artificial satellites and space vehicles moving under the influence of forces such as gravity. This field involves complex calculations to determine orbits and ensure satellites stay on their intended paths. To get a satellite into orbit, it must be launched by a rocket. The rocket must reach a high enough altitude and speed. Once it's in the desired orbit, the satellite is deployed and the rocket returns or disintegrates. Satellites don't just stay in orbit by themselves. They need occasional adjustments using onboard thrusters. These small corrections ensure they stay in the correct path and avoid collisions with other objects. As we launch more satellites, the risk of collisions increases. The Kessler syndrome describes a scenario where collisions generate more debris, leading to a cascade of collisions and debris in orbit, which can threaten other satellites and space missions. Managing space debris is critical for the sustainability of space activities. Techniques like passive deorbiting, where a satellite is designed to naturally fall back to Earth after its mission, help mitigate the problem. Satellites have a limited lifespan, typically ranging from a few years to a couple of decades. Factors such as fuel for thrusters and technological obsolescence contribute to their operational life. When a satellite's mission ends, it's either moved to a graveyard orbit or directed to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. These protocols help minimize space debris and ensure the safety of other space operations. Satellites play a crucial role in everyday life. They enable GPS, weather forecasting, satellite TV, and global communications, proving their importance in modern society. Communication satellites relay signals from one point on Earth to another. They support everything from phone calls to internet access and are positioned strategically in GEO for constant coverage. Earth observation satellites provide vital data for environmental monitoring, agriculture, and disaster response. They help track climate change, deforestation, and natural disasters like hurricanes and wildfires. Satellites also play a pivotal role in space exploration. They study distant planets, stars, and galaxies, expanding our understanding of the universe and aiding in scientific discoveries. The satellite industry is rapidly evolving. Innovations like miniaturization and reusable rockets are making satellite launches more affordable and accessible, paving the way for new possibilities in space. CubeSats are small, standardized satellites that have revolutionized access to space. They are cost-effective and used for various applications, including scientific research, Earth observation, and technology demonstrations. 
The future of satellites looks promising with advancements in AI and machine learning. These technologies can optimize satellite operations, improve data analysis, and enable autonomous decision-making in space. Despite the advancements, challenges remain, such as space weather, the space environment, and the regulatory landscape. Addressing these challenges is crucial for the continued success and sustainability of satellite missions. International cooperation is vital for managing space traffic and mitigating debris. Organizations like the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA, work towards peaceful and sustainable use of outer space. Private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others are playing an increasingly important role in satellite launches and space exploration. Their innovations are driving down costs and increasing access to space. If you're inspired by today's video, consider a career in satellite technology. Opportunities abound in engineering, data analysis, space law, and more. It's an exciting field with endless possibilities. There are many resources available if you want to learn more about satellites. Online courses, books, and even virtual reality experiences can deepen your understanding of this fascinating subject. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how satellites orbit Earth. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let us know in the comments what topics you'd like us to cover next.